that tiny SIM card in your phone, what it is really? A. Just plastic with a number. B. A memory card. C. A tiny computer. The correct answer is C. A tiny computer. You see, your SIM card stores your mobile number, your network, and a secret key. It even has a CPU, RAM, and storage. It's not just data, it can think and respond too. The moment you insert it, your phone powers this computer on. Now, another question once the SIM gets power, what happens next? A. It sends your phone number to the tower. B. It proves its identity to the network. C. It connects directly to the internet. The correct answer is B. It proves its identity. Your phone sends a request to the nearest tower. That tower challenges your SIM. The SIM runs cryptographic math using that secret key inside it. If it is able to prove that it's valid, the signal is allowed. If not, there is no network. And that's the moment your phone truly comes online. So if everything lives inside that physical tiny computer, what happens when there is no physical SIM? I'm talking about eSIM. Want to know more about it? We'll discuss that in part 2. So don't forget to subscribe.